In July of 2020, 35 staff members of Port of Belize who were protesting an arbitrary 10% pandemic-related salary cut at lunchtime were dismissed via text message. The reason provided was redundancy and they were paid their benefits, but the workers contested the unfair dismissal, saying that on the next day, the company hired workers to replace them. They believe the real reason for their dismissal was that they were active union members. The matter is before the Labour Complaints Tribunal, which was reconstituted in September of 2023. Six months have passed since then. The Christian Workers Union, CWU, which represents those workers, in February of this year called attention to the unresolved issue, especially since the government took over the port in December last year. Today, they felt the need to do so again. Here is CWU President Leonora Flowers. We continue to ask. We have written to the minister. We have written to the ministry. We have gotten a response from the Labour Commissioner recently, like two weeks ago, and only to have the meeting that was supposed to be held yesterday was put off to a further date. We want to say to the tribunal and the people who have been in panel to serve on that tribunal, these are Belizean workers that we're dealing with. And just like the legislation affords us a right to represent them, the, re the legislation has afforded them a responsibility when they took on that has to be a part of the panel to provide a response, not four years later or not three years later than when it occurred. It is way, way, way beyond time, and we still await. We have members of families. I think there are only four persons who opted to set aside their claim, but we have at least 30 persons who want a response from the tribunal. That has been causing quite a bit of frustration. On, on One of the PBL 35, Leticia Gibson, a single mother, today read a testimonial she submitted to the tribunal last year. My lowest point after redundancy was on Christmas Day 2021. I dropped bitter tears because I couldn't even provide Christmas dinner for my kids. I broke down in front of them. I felt useless, depressed, and worthless. I had to swallow my pride and begged my relatives for dinner. I had never felt near so, so low before. I decided that I will shed no more tears over the injustice that PBL had done to me. I decided that I will fight no matter what may come. If I was such a bad employee, how come I got employee of the quarterly for 2019? How come on my last week, my supervisor praised my work? and even said that he will make sure I got my increment that year. What PBL did not just affected my well-being, but also the well-being of my children. The effects that we are still feeling up to this day. 